Niaje watu, this is BMF uh, and uh, today we want to introduce segment moja kali sana inaitwa Mungu Two Moments. Uh, kwa hii segment mazetu akao tunakam na wase wale God wame go through some stuff but wameona God aki come through. So na leo tunataka kuintroduce best yetu sana. Uh, wacha ni simseme jina, wacha mwenyewe kama je introduce. Ah, niaje Yes, niaje. Poor sana. Poor. Karibu sana. <laughs> ah, thank Wasa you. Kwa so mm. introduce yourself wasa kujua. Ah, hi guys. My name is Angelo Njeru Chiriba. I'm an architect by profession na pia uh, I do sing sometimes and I'm a father of a uh, 3 year old baby girl. 3 year old baby girl. Yeah. Karibu sana. So Angelo leo tuna talk about Mungu two moments. Unajua ah, okay. zile moments manze ume go through a tough time. Yeah. Na bado God unasema manze mimi na stick na wewe. Yeah. So ni nataka nikuuliza wewe ushai go through such a time? Uh, yeah. Manze ina depend pia na capacity ama magnitude. So uh, me moments jai sahau to date eh? uh, ni, it was i remember it was on a thursday uh-huh. it was on a thursday morning uh, nilipata call kutoka kwa best yangu engineer uh-huh. akaniambia kuna job tumepata uh, ya kuchora nyumba uh, they needed an architect so nikakuwa excited and i remember that time manzen kwa nimesota hakukuwa <laughs> na projects uh, account za za kampuni zilikuwa zero uh-huh. projects zetu kwa tumefanya ziko zimelipa so vile nilitiwa hii nilijua hapa tumepata pesa ya mafuta yeah. mimi nikaingia gari Mbio mbio asubuhi nikashawa nikaambia wife eh nimepataka job tutapataka kitu acha nikuje <laughs> so um uh, nika meet best yangu mm-hmm. uh, then we met tukaenda tukakutana na this client uh, this client alikuwa anaka promising walikuwa wase wawili uh-huh. so tukawa presentia nikawa show zile job tumefanya manyumba tumechora ma job tumekuwa tukifanya over the years over the time then waka ku excited wakasema eh we like your portfolio manze tunakupatia hii job tuka discuss tuka agree amount akasema tunakupatia deposit sema acha tukuandikie wa manze aliingia kwa mfuko tu hivi anaenda kutoa <laughs> check atuandikia mimi na mzee ameshika ma, mapingu bana then i'm like ala what are the handcuffs for mm-hmm. then this guy akasema you know what we were looking for you guys na the only way out ilikuwa kuwapata na ile kazi mnafanya and wakati shika tao wakati peleka central police mm-hmm. so nilifika central police nikiwa frustrated sana Nika fika pale nikauliza what's the problem I do not know kitu tumefanya mm. the police wakaniambia you know what hata siwe tulikuwa tunataka we wanted this other guy mm-hmm. so kwa hivyo wendi ndio architect na huu ni engineer wewe basi wewe ishi wewe ishi mimi nikamwambia best yangu manze joke kuna vile leo na feel niko down hata sitaweza kukusaidia na hii pre- <laughs> story ya police wewe pambana na hali ya wewe kitu umefanya wewe sort mimi nikatoka kutoka tu hivi hapo nje tu i remember it hapo university when cross nikapigiwa simu nilikuwa gana loan nilikuwa nayo na nil, gari yangu ndio ilikuwa uh, you know uh, surety mm-hmm. nikapigiwa simu niaje sisi ni auctioneers tuko hapo Muthaiga kwa ofisi yako na tuko kwa gari tunataka kuchukua hii gari tuone nayo nikamwambia wa 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 wa, wa. hii ni noma mm-hmm. mimi nikaenda kuvuka the other side pia tena nikapigia mama nikamwambia wife niaje mazee imagine ile job tumeshikwa nimetoka hivi huyu auctioneers wananiambia wanataka kuchukua gari ah kanaambia eh manze so i'm sad for you manze but imagine hata pia mi bro yangu amekam kuni pick nimepack vitu zangu zote naenda so, manze na kuambia nili stop kwa barabara mm-hmm. katikati magari zika stop msiwandudhia kakam nikamwambia please nifikishe muthaiga ku by the way kukalia ndudhi hivi nilikuwa na jacket ya white rain ikafunguka ikanyesha my friend Wow. Niko kwa mgongo wa umsi uh-huh. hata sikulia nilicheka kwanza. Uh-huh. Umsi akaniuliza nikupe helmet ngambia sitaki. Wewe nifikishe ofisi. Uh-huh. Nikafika ofisi hata sikuwa na so tatu ya kulipa huo msi by the way. Nikwambia unajua ni aje mimi hata niko na so mbili wewe chukua uishi. Uishi. Akataka kuzusha nikwambia bro itabidi uchukue hiyo do. Manze nilikaa tu hivi nikajua world yangu ime stop. Mm. Biashara ijaingiana. Uh-huh. Wife amepaka ameenda. Auctioneer za amenyorosha amechukua gari na rent sijalipa ya miezi kadhaa by the way to start with almost like about uh, for four months mazero jo kuna wengine wana go through the same thing right now okay nataka to do two things nataka uambie nili tumoka hold on your siku alafu for secondly nataka uwa pray eh, that pia wataza ku overcome your situation first of all kitu nilifanya ni hold on hakuna kitu ningefanya hakuna kitu ningefanya nilikuwa niko low niko at my lowest hakuna anything no finances no nothing no family 
nilikuwa tu nasikia ni kama by the way nilikuwa na feel like i'm not a, like i'm not a human na uliza god mbona hizi vitu zote kwangu peke yangu mm. so uh, but i decided to 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 trust in god eh? and uh, nika trust word yake inasema stand still and know that i'm god the reason why nilikumbuka stand still ni kwa sababu tu that's the only thing ningefanya mm. ni kunyamaza tu mm-hmm. niliingia tu kwa geja nikajifungia nikaanza kulia kama mwanaume au kuna solution yoyote ya anything we <laughs> can go through mm-hmm. hakuna mm-hmm. ilikuwa tu prayer mm-hmm. mimi nilikaa tu chini nikaambia god hapa we tu just move we fanya tu vile unataka kufa mm-hmm. just do what you want to do with me but i trusted god and i started to pray so zile prayers eh ndio zilikuwa zinanipea nguvu zinanipatia strength ya ku move on mm-hmm. zinanisho tu kila kitu at that moment by the way the only best friend hapo anakuanga god ile hata kama uko na sao god ile bidi tu narudi mm-hmm. so ni yondo tu the only person i was you know leaning on because yeah. every time taka chini nikumbuke i was crying na toa tears kama mwanaume lakini kutoka nje na smile eh hey, niko sawa <laughs> mama alienda alienda niko yeah, sawa yeah. lakini kirudi ndani ya nyumba unajua tu wenyewe god uh, god na ku need mm-hmm. so i just prayed and trusted in god mm-hmm. and um, God came through. Talking about prayer and attack prayer was a flani pale wana go through the same same thing. Mm-hmm. For me Pia I feel there are so many people who are going through the same thing that I went through. Yeah. So maybe I would like to share a prayer with them and that gave me strength to carry on. Yes. So let's pray. Father, I come before you this moment. I thank you for this mo- this opportunity that you've given unto me. Mm-hmm. I pray for every person out there that is going through the same situation that I went through on a Thursday mm-hmm. morning, the whole of that day, Jehovah. I thank you because you are faithful that you will be able to redeem and restore them a hundredfold, yeah. Jehovah. Yeah. May you bless those that are waiting to be blessed, Jehovah. Mm-hmm. May you answer those that are seeking for answers, Jehovah. Mm-hmm. May you raise rise uh, may you make this those youths that are waiting for things to do jehovah and they do not know what to do jehovah may you show them a revelation and a vision may you bless them guide them give them strength and it is in the mighty name of jesus they will rise up and give a testimony of how great god you are mm. in jesus name i do pray believing and trusting in you amen manzi angelo thank you so much for coming through nashukuru sana kukumbusha story yako and you out there next week we'll have a new mungu tu moment so remember to subscribe and keep it locked peace, peace.